So I have to take you back to November of 1999 when I literally ran from drug court in Gary, Indiana and came to Minnesota. Leaving Indiana resulted in a warrant for my arrest. Not even a week in Minnesota, I was still struggling to stop using drugs. So in a God-given moment of sanity, I decided to go and have a chemical health assessment. I was diagnosed with a drug addiction, an alcohol addiction, and a tobacco addiction, and was also determined to be homeless. The assessor recommended me to Turning Point for residential treatment. Turning Point, um, they got a hold of my judge in Gary, Indiana of drug court, the Honorable Karen Freeman Wilson, I have to call her name because she's awesome. She allowed me to stay in treatment in Minnesota and did not extradite me back to Gary. After completing 90 days of drug treatment with Turning Point, I secured a room at Ascension Place, which was a long-term sober housing facility for mental health and drug recovering individuals. I lived there for about a year and then went to live at Recovery Resource Center, which is another uh, long-term recovering program. I was still considered homeless. While still in treatment and sober housing, I was approved for a one-bedroom apartment through the Minneapolis Housing Authority. However, I did not have anything to put in my apartment except my clothes. The first night, I slept on the cold, hard floor with a thin blanket and no pillow. So I was excited when the day of my shopping appointment with Bridging finally came. I was able to then pick up my kitchen table and chairs, my queen-size mattress set, bed frames, mirrors, dressers, pots, pans, silverware, and yes, I got a pillow. <laughs> and also, this beautiful angel, it's around Christmas time, this beautiful angel that have endured my journey with me for 19 years. It represents my treasure of hope, healing, strength, and resilience. Also, I was able to choose a lot of miscellaneous items that furnished my apartment. Like I said, it was Christmas time. Got a little small Christmas tree. I just made my Christmas. Um, my apartment became my home, my one bedroom apartment. It became my home due to Bridget's generosity. When I had next to nothing, Bridget gave me everything. I had never in all my life even owned a queen size bed. Bridget offered me not only furnishings for my home, they gave me hope that there are people in this sometimes scary and lonely world that it will help you and able to uh, give to you beyond what you can even expect. Along with all the furnishings, Bridget showed through themselves love and humility with wholehearted genuineness. And like the letter that he read, most importantly, they gave with no judgment. Bridget did not only furnish my apartment, they furnished my heart and my soul with the fire to serve that community that helped save my life. I now have a bachelor's degree in chemical dependency. I'm a licensed alcohol and drug counselor. I earned a master's degree in psychology and psychotherapy while battling uh, stage two cancer. I was also the commencement speaker at my master's graduation ceremony got a standing ovation from my peers after I told my story. And I recently... <laughs> Thank you. And I recently started my own business. teaching DWI classes and providing substance use disorder assessments for low income or no income uh, individual, individuals. I intentionally set my prices low and I also work uh, with clients at a reduced rate. Once a month, I waiver their fee altogether for one person with zero income. Like bridging, I wanted to give back. After starting my business, I wanted to become an ongoing donor to a local charity but I struggled to re, uh, reach a decision of who that charity would be. At that time, my son became homeless, and he eventually found an apartment, but he needed some furniture, and so I thought about bridging. Um, as I looked on the website to see how to refer him, 
I began to realize that becoming partners with Bridging would bring me full circle. With no doubt or hesitation, I knew Bridging was the organization I wanted to donate to and partner with. Today, I am honored that I have transitioned from Bridging's client to their partner and colleague. And lastly, a quote by Emily Dickinson, hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. For me, bridging was and is a face of hope. Thank you and God bless.